All right, so I am going to attempt for the first time doing these box braids by myself. Now, I have gotten box braids done before. I just haven't gotten them done by, on my own. So let's try. So I have this hair right here, this pack of three. It costs $7 each. And yeah, and this is the first time I use this hair. So let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some Vaseline. There's some hair in here because my brother was doing his hair in here. A comb that goes like this. I have one of these and rubber bands because I'm going to be using this new method that I saw with a rubber band. So I'm going to try since I'm on my own and I don't have my sister with me, which is the one that usually does it for me. So I'm first gonna lather a lot of this all over my hair it's also a new type of braid that i'm trying so i'm gonna first start by parting i have a mirror right here too by parting my hair and try your hardest to have it i guess as um straight as possible a little bit shorter right here So this is the first step, getting the first hairs out of the way. Let's do that out of the way. And this, we are going to first part. Mine's are gonna be a little chunky because as you know, his are a little chunky. So I'm gonna part it right there like that. That looks good, styling gel. And I'm just gonna take all these little flyaways and I'm just going to, especially in the front, like the back usually have these little growing hairs right here. So um, you can leave them out if you like. You could leave them in if you like, where you really need to take your time. So you have your hair looking as clean as possible. Oops, swoop it off to the middle and the side. So. Once again, you comb if you have your edges, if you wanna comb them and lay them right now, that's what you would do. If not, I'm trying to kind of keep them in for now and then as they go comb, as they come out, I'll comb them out. Grab your little rubber band and... Okay, so that's how that one looks. So it will lay flat like this and then go down like this. So I'm just gonna finish up this side and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm done and I look like that girl from American Horror Story. If you look like the girl from American Horror Story, then you're on the right track. And I am going to take about that much. So that thin, thick. But you could do it however you want, um, as much as you want. I have two packets, so that's okay. So I'm gonna take this much. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more, actually. So a little bit more. Quick method that I tried doing before doing my new method, but if you wanna continue on with this one, it's a little bit more difficult. And I also ended up taking them out because I, I noticed they looked a little too bulky and I was looking going for a flat look because Travis Scott's braids are more flat, so that's why I went back. I am going to go ahead and secure it again, like that. And so I'm gonna start braiding. So I'm gonna turn this into three. Now we have this, but we need to share a little bit of this hair. And then I'm gonna start braiding again, like this. Okay, so now I have braided all the way to the end. So we have this little bit over. So I'm just going to do a little knot on it. And I'm just going to wrap it around, like loop over and under. And wrap it just so it doesn't become undone. Let's try the front. Now, I'm thinking about another method in the front. I don't know if I should go with it. But let's try. Why not try one? So it will be different than this one. So I'm gonna try to do a feed in braid. Now, I don't know how to feed in a braid, but 
I will try. So I'm gonna separate. So we have the hair here and she didn't take a lot. This was like the easiest way that I have ever seen someone feed in hair. So let's see. What was it that she did? She literally put the, this right over where she was doing it like this. And then she started just feeding it in. Oh my God, did I just do it? I think I just did it. Oh my God, I just did it. Yay. Okay, now I'm gonna need a little bit of more hair from here. I'm gonna borrow some more. And then I'm gonna keep on going. Yay, it worked. Okay, so we're gonna do this one on this one. Really yeah. Or I have to borrow a little bit more hair again. But now that I found a way that um um it's easy. Um, I think I'll be doing this method and shout out to that girl. I don't know what the name of the video is. I randomly like um, found it, but she's doing kind of like this same type of braid. The only, ex um, the only difference is I think she does them to the side and I'm just doing them more to the front. Um, gonna do a knot on it. And I definitely think that in order to keep them a little bit longer, I'm gonna do the braid at the bottom for the front parts. The, I mean, the curls at the bottom with the hot water. And they're, um, the way that I will probably sleep on them is like I will probably wrap them um, for me to go to sleep and they don't become undone. Okay, so let's see again. Do it a little longer on one side. Put it on my hair right here. What is it that she did? Okay, and then you mix it and then you start braiding again. Whoa, I'm getting good at this, guys. way to the end now i'm gonna knot the hair wow these look really good i like them i just wish right here like i didn't make that mistake right there but they look super good oh that's the front okay these i need to make flatter now let me go to the back of the head okay so for the back i'm just gonna follow this guideline right here and wait hold on I'm actually gonna go like this and I'm gonna do half of a moon right here. Half of a moon right here and half of a moon right here that connects in the back. So hopefully I'll just take that right. See? Yeah. Take some Vaseline and rub it at the end of your hair if your hair is dry like mine's. Good enough. Take the rest of your hair, put it away. As soon as I have, I'm ready to go. This hair doesn't belong here. So the sides were super complicated, which is why I didn't add them, but this is how they look. They look flat. I finally got them right after like five times. So now we're going with the middle. The middle looks like this. And my hair is all sorts of different sorts of lengths. So I don't know how this one is going to go, but let's hope it goes good. Flat onto my head like this, and then I'm going to bring it off to the side. Okay, it's looking a little weird, but... Okay, arm scratch. Let's go straight from the beginning.
Okay, so my metal braid actually did not do bad. I expected it to do more horrible. So I don't know how it looks back there, but I am hoping that it looks a-okay. Now I'm thinking before I go and finish off, I'm gonna fix these two on the front because they look like two little ears there or something. I don't know. Now that everything is so flat, like I need the front to be flat. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. So yeah, I just finished um, fixing one of them. You see how flat compared to this one, like this is after I learned how to do the feeding method. So that's the one that I'm gonna continue on doing. It looks flat now. Okay, they look up to part how I wanted them to. So down here, I'm gonna add one right here. Where's my brush? Okay, so I just finished braiding the two sides down here. Now we are going towards the back. And back here, I am thinking I'm just going to do two big braids. I think I'm just going to finish using this one up and two braids and the two braids back here. And I think that they might be a little big, but I'm thinking it's okay. And I'm just going to start braiding. Same thing as the other um, braids, just over and under. Just braiding a little bit before feeding in my braid. And I'll keep braiding. Okay, now we got our last piece in. And to be honest, it's a lot more than what I bargained for, but it's okay. And we are finally done I'm so excited oh the Sun is like right in my eyes I'm so excited I'm done my hair is everywhere it looks like this the back the last one that I did looks a little funky the last two but I'm just gonna tell my sister to fix them for me this is how they look up close they're laying flat right here then here on the sides and all around it kind of and I don't have a lot because I did it on, that on purpose I wanted them more chunky and not a lot in the back like I said I can't see in the back so this is as best as I can do let's see that's what it looks like and I know that these two in the bottom kind of don't look right but I'll find a way to kind of fix them as we go and I didn't even finish using one pack this is how much was left off of that hair only the two and then this one so i'm gonna put this back in the package and then whenever i have to redo them whenever they get start getting fuzzy i just take them off put them back in as far as the ends let's see there's hair literally everywhere so this is how they look in the front and the ends and like i said i'm gonna curl them in the bottom if you could keep them like this is preference whatever you want and then the back looks a little long there's literally hair everywhere so i you can see that and that is it it took me about um i'm gonna say like three hours two hours and a half to do them all on my own for the first time so not bad at all um and yeah if you would like to see more from me just subscribe leave me a comment down below and yeah hope to see you in the next one bye